Hello everyone. Um, welcome to week three. And this week we're going to look at all that we've learned in the class lesson. We're going to look at by referencing hyperlinks and lists. Now on my template here, I have created um, a little uh, structure which I'm going to work on. So we'll see how to improve our structure for development. Now on my HTML documents, I have reference, um, I have a comment where I'm going to include my reference for us to see how far referencing are uh, um, referenced in our HTML documents. Now, first we're going to start by creating the structure for our development. And here I have a folder called with three, which holds the index.html document that we're on. So I'm going to create other folders where we're going to store the different files that we're going to make use of for this illustration. All right, now first we are going to create the CSS folder, which would hold the styles for this page and the other page we're going to create when we reference our files. Now, I'm going to start by creating a folder and on my Atom, I am going to, I right click to get these options and here I am going to select new folder and the name of this folder is CSS, which we hold the CSS file. Now, this is not the only folder we um, can have in our development directory. We're going to create um, pages folder. And we'll take note of the names you give to your folders, because when you reference your files, you want to make sure that you're referencing with the correct name. Now, next, I am going to create um, other folders that I would not be using, but necessary for um, your development when you start developing a complete website. So other folders you could have are folders like the script folder. Now, this is something about file referencing that we should take note of. So while I right click on my mouse, I on and it's telling me that I'm about to create a folder, a subfolder in my pages folder. So understanding file referencing can help you prevent some little errors like this. So I was meant to create a folder outside this pages folder in the root directory called week three. But reading this a little part address here tells me that I am about to create a folder inside the pages folder. So I'm going to press my escape key and make sure that I'm creating this folder inside the week three folder, which is my roots directory or my project folder. So I'm going to select the new folder again. And this time you see that there's no parent folder identified. So I can just enter the folder I want, which is the script folder. So this is meant to be the folder for my JavaScript. When we get to JavaScript, we're going to make use of folders like this. Uh, next, I'm going to create an extra folder. So you can have as much folders you uh, want as planned for your project. But well, I'm just going to create the, a, a basic structure here that we most likely would see in any um, structure. So now you see, I am making the same mistake whereby I am about to create a folder in the script folder. So I'm going to press my escape key and make sure I am creating a new folder in my root directory. And this is for the images folder. Now I have named it in these images. Currently I have no files inside these folders. So they are just folders that are going to hold the related files that I will be using or you can use for your development. 
right now we have the index.html file outside the um in the root directory in the root folder which is week three and it's not in the script nor pages or images folder or the css folder it's outside these folders and in the root directory so we have to understand the um different parts we have in our directories this is the root directory or well, sometimes referred to as the project folder or project directory and inside where we have the sub directories called css folder images folder pages folder and scripts folder so this can be renamed as scripts you could have multiple scripts in this folder so they have s in the end because you can have um, several files related to that folder now in the index.html folder which is our which would be our home folder i would create um some content that would help us to um direct the user once a particular button is clicked that will take us to another file in the pages folder so first let's create a folder here so this will help us look at file referencing properly now we have sorry let's create a file here we have this pages folder you can see on my uh, atom editor wins once i click the folder you can see the drop down um, icon it means that this folder is currently open so i'm going to open this folder and then right click on this folder and create a new file or you could use the keyboard shortcut which is the letter a and it goes straight to creating a new file so i'm going to click on new file and you can see from the parts that it's creating this file inside the pages folder so i want to create a, 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 a document here or a new page that we're going to refer to from the index page now i i'm going to create a list inside this fold page so i'm going to name this list that html so remember the extension is very important because it tells the browser what type of document it is now i want to save this so i'm just going to click enter and now i have an empty document but um a html document so we'll come back to this document once we are done from the index page so this is just a simple way to set up your development um, directory so so far we have created a page in the pages folder and we can also create a style in the css folder so we, last week we saw how to reference the CSS uh, file from different parts of the um, index page. So we're going to look a little on that. But before then, let's create a file in the CSS folder. So you see, I click the folder and the drop down icon faces down. That means I'm currently about whatever I'm going to do here will be in the CSS folder. So if I right click and select new file, it shows me in the parts that I'm in the CSS folder and I'm about to create a file in the CSS folder. So we need to um, take notes of the difference between a file and a folder. So the file are usually the documents that we work with and the folders are the directories where we store these documents, related documents. So you could have several CSS styles inside the CSS folder. So I'm about to create the document. So I am going to call this, you can name it um, any name of choice, as long as you understand what it holds. So this would be my style.css. So remember the extension, without the .css extension, the browser would not be able to read this document as a style sheet now i have saved this and this is where we're going to write our styles now i'm going back you can see my directory and if you do not understand this so far please feel free to ask questions now before we start writing um content in the index file
All right, so I guess I can go on. All right, now in the index file, we are going to create a little content. Now this is going to be our home page or the landing page for this little website we are creating. So we want to first of all uh, create content before we reference the CSS. What we're going to do here is we're going to reference a file in the same directory that's create a CSS style and refer it to this document or then we're also going to look at how to reference a file in subdirectory, which is the style in the CSS folder. So first, let's have something on the page so we can have um, visible content to understand this. Now, first, I want to create a heading and I'm going to use the H1 element. I'm going to select with the shortcuts here and let's have welcome to screw and make this for the programming in software. as our heading. So I'm going to save this. And refresh my page. Then we have our heading. Welcome to School of Programming and Software Development. Now let's create um, a content that we can use to um, go to another page. Now, for example, let's say um, this is a school website and we want to refer users to a particular page where they are going to see the different um, courses the school offers. So let's create a little use. Let's use the hyperlink, which we've learned, the anchor tag we've learned in the class lesson. So I'm going to add it to a paragraph. So using the paragraph, this is where I'm going to include the anchor tag. So in this paragraph, I would say click. Now, this next um, word is going to be a link that would take the user to the page where he's going to, he or her is going to see the different courses. So I would make sure to put this word in the anchor tag and remember from the class lesson the anchor tag is what we the elements we use to create um, links so let's use the anchor tag so if i type a it gives me the option so i'm just going to select it here or i'm just going to type it so in between the stats and the end tag of the anchor tag is where we're going to have the word that we want to use as a link. So I want the word here. So you can see the word here is in the anchor tag and it's going to be displayed as a link. So I'll save this so we'll see how it's displayed first of all. So we see click here. Now the anchor tag without the href is not um, identified as a link yet. So we're going to include the path in the href where it's going to take us to another page. Then we can see it's identified as a complete link. So for now, we're just going to continue with the sentence. It says click here to view. Our lists of courses.
I'll save this. So, and because we want to use Because we want to use the word here as a link, we um, added it, we input it in the anchor tag. And now outside the anchor tag, we have the rest of the sentence it says to view our list of courses. So I'm going to refresh the page. And now you see, click here to view our list of courses. I'm just going to add the S here. All right, so let's make this letter here a reference, a clickable link to our page. So we have our page here. First, let's create something for this page. So I'm just going to use the shots um, code. So I'll also say doc type and HTML. Let's copy the meta tags from this page. Because of time. This should be for our list. So I'm just going to make the tag to Cost list. And we can add um, a reference here for our style, but we're not going to look at that now until we have successfully referenced this page from the index page. All right, so let's have just one um, element here. So we can be setting of uh, the successful referencing. So let's say we're going to have an anchor tag for home. So before I come to the referencing parts, let's just have this content here. So this basically is just going to show the word home. So this is just a demand page for now. Let's go back to the index page where we're going to reference that um, page. Okay, now here we want to make this word here a link to the list.html and the list.html is in the pages folder. So in the start tag of the anchor tag, I am going to specify the href for that. So we'll call from the class lesson. We use the attributes href to reference a link or a page on our um, HTML document. So here I'm going to reference the list.html and to do that we simply just use the href attributes so i select the href attributes equal to in a pair of quotes we specify the parts now this is where the referencing is um, important to take note of so you want to make sure you start from the first folder now Currently, we are in the index folder. So before you reference a file or a folder, you want to take note of where you are You are on your project folder. So I'm going to close this project folder. So we'll start from the very beginning. Now, if I open this project folder, I'm going to close all the folders. We have the CSS folder, we have the images folder, we have the pages folder and the script folder we've created. And now, from the index.html file where we currently are, we want to reference a, a page inside this pages folder. 
So we have to take note that we are currently in the index or the, um, the index file as well as the root directory. Mm. So this is the root directory. Everything inside this space is in the root directory. Now we want to reference a file or a page in the pages folder. So to do that, we have to first of all specify where we, from where we are, we are in the roots directory and we want to go into the pages folder. So I'm just simply going to type pages and record. It has to be the same name of the folder we have created here. So it's pages and to um, make sure that the browser locates the file inside we have to give it um, follows it follows with the forward slash so this tells the browser that we want this folder but we want the contents inside we're going to specify next inside this folder so we want to go into this folder now next we specify the content the documents that we want to reference or if we still have a subfolder we simply just mention the folder so let's say we have um the a folder called um temporary so temp for short so we could write this like this this means that this is a folder now this case we're not going to um, reference a folder we already have the index the lists document inside the pages folder and that's what we want to reference so all i have to do is specify the name of the document which is list and do not forget the extension it's list.html now this simply would just look for this document inside the pages folder just because i have written it this way so i'm going to save this and i'll refresh my page and now we see the default display for a link on the browser so this is the default display the underline and the color we see here and whenever we hover around it it gives us a different cursor a pointer cursor to let the user know that this is a link so if we click this link now it's going to take us to the page we've created which is the lists.html and on the page we just um, used a an anchor tag to um, drop a content called home so we just put the home word there but it does nothing apparently because it's not referenced to any page with the hash sign there it means this isn't going to direct us to any page even when we click it so now we have to create um, something on the home page on the um, list page for us to see more content that we would look at other um, complex referencing all right so now we're done with the index but we're going to start this before we're going to start this page before we go to the um, list page so the referencing for styles basically is the same thing as we do for the anchor tag so let's say we want to have a different so i'm going to close this page and click here to make sure i create this documents in the root directory so let's say we want to have a css file in the root directory so like i said it's up to you how you intend to um structure your directory but this is one of the this is the best so far and this is what i've been using so it, it works very well for every development now um i'm going to create a css file so i'll call this main.css now close every tab here So back to the index.html. Now I want to reference this CSS file and I also want to reference this CSS file. So we can see how the referencing works when you try to reference a file in the same directory. Now they might be in the same folder, maybe a subfolder, 
it still works the same way. We have to reference it this way. Once I um once we reference it in the same directory, it's always the same way. And now we are also going to look at how to reference the CSS style in the CSS folder. So let's first of all reference the file in the main.css but first we're going to create a style here so we can show that our referencing is successful so what do we have in the index page we have a h1 element so we can apply a style to all h1 elements and we're going to type the h1 and in a pair of curly braces we are going to specify the style so i want the heading which is the H1. I want to align the text. So we did this during the last class. I want to align the text to the center. And I also want to set the background color. Let's type the background color. And our background color should be, let's say, light blue. So when you are styling a heading, it's best if you want to. Okay, so I'm going to save this first before I do this. Now, because we haven't referenced this file, we can't get the styles applied to the heading. So this is enough for us to see the difference in the referencing. So in the index.html file, let's reference the main.css file that we've created in the same root directory so we use the link tag and in the href we specify the file we want to reference so i'm going to take this out this is default this is usually default when you select the suggested um, shortcut so now i don't have the main.css in any other folder. It's currently in the same directory as the index.html. So all I have to do is type the name of the file, which is main.css. So always remember the extension. Now, unlike we did for the um, pages, uh, the list page, we mentioned the that we were going to locate first before giving the name of the document we want to reference. But here we are just going directly to the main.css because both of them are currently in the same directory. So I'm going to save this and I will refresh my page and we'll see that the style applies to the heading. So the main.css does not know where the files are referenced from. But whatever style you have in your style sheets would definitely apply to wherever you referenced it in. So we have the H1 in the index.html and we said that we want all H1 to have the, their text aligned to the center and we want the background color to be light blue. So we can as well add like we did in the last lesson, we used padding. So I said padding is, we're going to look at padding next in our next classes, but I'm just going to make use of it here so you see how it's also used on text. Now, the padding is the space around the text, around the content itself. So this H1, we want to make sure that it has a, a proper space on the web page so it doesn't split from um, the margin to margin. So we can see we want the padding to be 10 px. And as well include the border. So we, we used border in the last lesson. So I'm just going to add the border. And this is the shortcut or shorthand for the border property. So I want the border uh, width to be 1 px means it's not meant to be uh, too wide, just as little as possible. Um, and I want the border to be solid, not dashed, not... Um, there are different 
values for this but i want it to be solid and i also want the color to be blue so this is the shorthand for border properties now i'm going to refresh this page and we see the little border blue border just around the uh, h1 all right so that's it for the h1 and we're going to have more styles here but we are going to look at it differently in another um in the other style sheets so now let's go back to the index now we see that we've uh, successfully referenced the css in the same root directory so let's reference let's look at how to reference uh, a file outside or inside a subdirectory so we're going to reference the css star or style sheet that we've created inside the CSS folder. And the name of the file is style.css. So we use the same link tag. I'm just going to take this out so we can impute our correct parts. Now we have this style.css document or style sheet inside the CSS folder. And the index file, like I said, you always want to check where you currently are on your um, directory. Currently, we're in the root directory in the index.html file. And we want to reference the style.css style sheets inside the CSS folder. So we first begin with the folder name. We want to go into the CSS folder and the browser is going to read the folder first before locating the style. Now, like I said, if there's another subfolder, you can specify it the same way, just like we have given this folder name here. But now we only have the file inside that we want to um, um, locate. So I'm just going to type the name of the file, which is style CSS. that it locates the file. Now we don't have any style here it's in the style.css. So let's try something different. I'm going to copy this style and modify it in the style.css. Here, instead of light blue, let's look at some um, gray. So if I save this, now this style is in the style.css and we have referenced it from the index.html first by specifying the name of the folder where the style.css is, which is CSS folder and forward slash with the name of the style sheet, style.css. So if I refresh the page, you see that now we have the style.css. So this is going to, I'm going to comment this out. So we don't have any um, fashion stuff. All right. So now we have just one style sheet referenced and it's the style.css style sheet and we changed the background color to gray to make sure that the referencing is successful so let's work on the um, list page currently what we have here is that we have a page that welcomes you to the school and also a link that is meant to take you to another page where we have the school courses so we say click here to view our list of courses and if i click here currently we don't have any content so let's work on the content on this page so in the pages folder is where we have the list.html i'll close other tabs so we can focus on the current page so um yeah we are also going to reference styles we could have the inline style we could have the embedded style and those are going to make sure that 
the styles we specify in those style sheets be it in line or embedded in the head elements is going to only affect this page only but if we reference it to any external style it means it's going to share styles with other pages that we have referenced as well like the index.html we have the heading being um, styled from the css style sheet so we're going to have similar style if we reference the external style sheets style the css as well all right so before we use the referencing let's add some content to the page so we use the anchor tag for um a, li a link button to take the user back to the home page where the user came from so we can set in the href the index html file which i said is the home page so this is where the referencing um, gets a bit complex but very easy once you understand how it works so currently we are in the index of uh, the list.html file so like i said before you reference the file you want to first of all understand the files or the directories you want to know where you currently are now we are currently in the list.html file and the list.html file is in the pages folder and the pages folder is in this root directory called big tree now we want to reference this index.html file that is in the root directory but most importantly where we are is where we need to focus on first we are in the pages folder now first for us to be able to um, locate this index.html file we have to come out from this pages folder now unlike the way we entered into the pages folder where we mentioned the pages the name of the folder or pages this time we are not entering this folder we are coming out from this folder so to come out from a folder we use the double dots and a forward slash to signify that i am coming out from this folder and then the name of the folder sorry so we once we do this we this means that we're coming out from well any folder we currently are so like i said we are currently in the pages folder and we want to come out from the pages folder to locate the index.html file so to make sure that we are out of the pages folder we have to specify that with a double dot and a forward slash that we are coming out from this folder and then now if we were meant to go into another folder then we are going to specify the name of the folder but what this currently um it is is that we have come out from the pages folder and we are in the root directory because there's no other folder and you cannot come out from the root directory this is the project directory so currently we are in the root directory but what do we want to do here we want to look for a file now if the index.html is in another folder then we can specify the name of the folder but currently the index.html is in the root directory so we do not need to specify the any other folder instead we just go direct to the name of the file itself so and the name is called the index.html So this would make sure that once this home word in the link tag, the anchor tag, once this um, home is clicked, it takes the user back to this page. So I'm going to save this and refresh the page so we see that this works perfectly. So if I click the home word, it takes us back to the index page. So you see how the referencing works. The double dots to come out from the folder 
and specify where you are going to or the name of the file you want to reference. And if you click here, it takes us back to the index page. So let's have more context here. So I can see how to add a list to a page. Now we can have more anchor tags on the page that could take us to other parts of um, the other areas of a particular page. It doesn't have to always be to another page, an external page. You could always have used the anchor tag to reference to the same um, uh, some areas in the same page. So let's create more anchor tags. We're going to make use of this on contacts. But first, let's create some content on the page that we're going to um, reference to. So this is called a bookmark hyperlink. Once we want to reference a particular area of the page, we jump to, we refer to it as bookmark hyperlink. So it's just like a bookmark like you have as well on your um, phone or system where you put your browser where you just jump to wherever you need to locate that particular information. All right, so um, for list, we have three types of lists and we are going to look at the first list, which is the other list. Now the other list is written as uh, OL, OL, so but first let's have a heading that it specified what list to operate in. So this will be our uh, order list. And the other list is the OL elements. Just put it in the So it has an open and a closed tag. And in between the open and the close tag, where we have our list elements, where we can list the items that we want to display on the page. So first, let's have the list items. So to list the item, we use the li um, elements, which is written as li, as well as the open and the close tag. So I will have more lists here. We can have as much. Sorry. We can have as much list as we want. But we're just going to have three lists here. And in between the starts and the end of the this element, we can specify what we are listing. So here, I'm just going to use item one. And here, item two. Okay, this is uh, the basic way for us to create a list. And this is going to let's see how it is going to be. So we have the list two, maybe or at least, and the list item. So we're going to create the second type of list and see the difference between the other list and the other list and why you can use them on your page differently. So the other list is just the URL tag written as UL and in between the URL open tag and close tag like we have for the other list you specify the list item which is um, the li tag and what's going to have the same thing we have created here let's see this first thing we have this is for a point for that list. And 
this now you can see the reports display on the other list in the other place. The other list is ordered by the ports in number one screen numerically. Yeah, it's the number numerically. And the one other list uh, is displayed as two legs. So if you're creating your context on the web page, you can decide to use any of them. Let's say you want to see more creative uh, lists whereby you want something uh, fancy for your bullets. You can make use of it on other list. But if you just want to simply, uh, simply number lists, you can make use of the other list because by default it's ordered numerically. And you can well specify the type of number in the open tag of the uh, other element, the whole element. So here we can say that we want the type that's the number to be either numerical, uh, lowercase or offensive uh, number, or uh, uppercase or Roman, lowercase Roman numerals or uppercase Roman So it's up to what you uh, want. And as well, we can specify to that. Let's say we're using numbers. We can specify, let's say we have another list and we want to, um, since by default the numbering is, let's say we have another list for uh, three, three, uh, uh, so, for the And now, if by default, if we do not specify the type like this, it's going to restart from one to three. And since it's itself, and we want to maybe continue the counting, here in the open tab, we can also specify where the counting should continue from. Since we already have one to three, we can say that we want the new counting to start. So use the start attributes to specify where the counting should begin. So the counting should start from four. So if we save this, we have the counting continue from one, two, three, two, four, five, six. That's for the ordered list. And for the unordered list is where we can have varieties of display for the bullet. So here yeah, by default we have the, the disk as the default display type. So we can specify in line the type of display or we can specify in the CSS style the type of display we want for the other place bullet. So I'm going to do this in line and to use the inline style is called attribute style and we now want to specify the list type type. So list type type is the name of the proxy that we use for uh, styling the bullet. So I'm going to type list style. Now these proxies are, they are so much that you might not remember them at once for us to uh, develop over time, we're going to remember them easily. So, the list that type is a proxy we use for styling the bullets. And in the list that type, we have different values, we have different options for the bullet display. So, I'm going to input the one there. And for this list that type, we have square. We have disk, we have several values. So once you are using this in the CSS style, you're going to see suggested values. But here I want to change this from disk to square. We can as well change this uh, bullet from this 
but basic display and make use of images. So next we're going to start looking at how to upload images, or we can change it to icon as well. We're going to look at all this in our uh, I guess classes as we progress. So um, this is how we can change the style or the display of the projects. So we also have another list called the um, definition list. So it's just written this is a history for this. And the definition of this is just written as E L. So it's um D L is going to give us the class yet. So this is known as the definition list or description list. So in between the start and end of the DL element, we use the DT and DT tags. So the DT comes first, which is known for the definition term. So this is just going to be, for example, let's say we this this um this is about introduction to Python. This is a course I've not said introduction to Python. So the DC here would be course description. And then we have a EP tag for the um, the definition of this tag. So, uh, in between the open and the close, like the three we can have to And uh, let's say, run. So we can have more DT and D tags. Let's go into the I'll see how it is built. Now we can as well style the display that this is for the way to look at that because the other devices see how we can adjust this style. But this is really how the display is. We have the list terms and the description. So the first description is the term and the connection with the all right, so this is uh, all we can have for this time. As well, we can how to jump from one uh, area of the page to another. Now, to do that, um, let's look at how to fall within the class. Let's quickly look at how to jump from one part of the page to another. So to do that, let's say we want to jump to the nation list. Since it's at the bottom of the list, 
you can create an ID within an ID attributes. And the ID attributes here, let's say this should be uh, section section three. This is section three of our page. So I just need this ID section three. And to make sure that when we click on the hyperlink, it takes us to the section three. We're just going to specify in using the hash sign and the name of the uh, ID. So I'll paste this here in the hatred. So the hash sign and the name of the ID. And let's have the word that is identified as the link. So we just say this just this space. So jump to the description list. So you can see here I have a, um, a link now that I specify inside this anchor type of body where if we click on this link now because the page isn't uh, long enough, it doesn't make any difference. So let's see if we will change the size of it. Screen, but it's still not long enough because if I click on it, it's still going to be on the same page as long as I'm able to view the contents of this page. But to be able to successfully uh, illustrate this, you can add a style to our CSS to give a margin to the section. Now, recall that we can always style any elements using an ID or a class. If we, are, if we do not want to specify the name of the element, we we'll always use the ID or a class that we specify inside the element. So here I'm going to style the section tree. And to style an ID, we use the hash sign. So the name is section three. And what do I want to do? I want to make sure that the sections, the section three is not uh, close to this other element. So to do that, I can make use of the margin. The margin is more of the spaces between elements. Now, if I specify here the margin, I want margin top. So I want a space from the top of this element. Mention this. So I can say I want margin top to be Yes, this should be enough space. So I'm going to save this. Now, because I have not referenced this style sheet from this uh, page, the list.html, it's not um, setting any effect. So I'm going to reference here from what we've learned using the link tag. And here I just want to specify where the style sheet is. So I'm going to say, that I want to come out from this folder since I'm the pages folder. And I want to go to the CSS folder, which is called CSS. Now, when you come out from the pages folder, you are in the roots directory. And we want to look for the style of the CSS in CSS folder. So now I'm entering the CSS folder. And what do I want from the CSS folder? I want the file called style.css. I'm going to save this and refresh the page. And now we have the um, style taking effect. So I'm going to increase the margin so we can have more spaces in the page. So let's use. Um, 500. This might be a lot, but it's just enough to be much space on the page. So now I've changed it to 500 px, and you can see that there's a lot of space between the contents, the definition list, and the rest because we made sure that the section ID in the um, in the H2 for this definition list is um, referenced in the style using the ID attributes and giving the margin of the or 500 kills. So if I click on the description list now, it jumps to where 
the definition list is on the page. So this is how to jump from one part of the page to another. This is known as the bookmark hyperlink. All right, so if there are any questions, please feel free to ask now before we end the class. Well, has everyone been able to hear me so far? I learned that the um, audio wasn't okay in some points. Can everyone hear me? Can I hear you? All right, great. Okay, so if there are no questions, um, sorry, Mr. Anthony, are you trying to say something? Your mic is muted. Okay, um, always feel free to reach out to me from the WhatsApp group if you have any challenges or questions. So we're going to end the class here because of time. And I wish you all success in your assignments. Thank you. All right. Bye, everyone.